Hello everyone. Welcome to Government Tech. My name is George. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download an entire website from the Wayback Machine or archive.org. Let's say you have a content, you want to download content from the Wayback Machine or a website from the Wayback Machine. So, this video will show you how to do so. Okay, so we are going to download this website from the Wayback Machine, this entire website. And uh, it's called Gifted with Green. It is an inspired domain which is on the way back. Um, the, I took the domain from the aspiredomain.net and we are going to use this as an example to download this entire website. It's a, I think this website is a, a forum and everything or the entire website can be downloaded with just some simple tricks. So, you will get to download this website from the Wayback Machine. First of all, you have to go to this website to download the Wayback Machine downloader. This is what you need. And uh, you go to the code here and then you download the zip file. I already have this zip file on my desktop. So this is it. What you do is you extract or unzip the file to your desktop. You unzip the file to your to your desktop. And here is it. You don't need to do anything here now at the moment now after downloading the wayback machine downloader what we will need is ruby we will have to download ruby and install ruby and we are going to use ruby command some commands in ruby to get the wayback machine content or the website we want to download so you go to google and then um, you search for Ruby down or download group. Okay, download Ruby. And the first results result is what you need. So we go to download Ruby. We have Ruby for Linux, we have Ruby for Mac OS, we have Ruby for the Windows machine. So I'm using Windows and we'll go with the Windows, the Windows Ruby installer. Okay, so you are, all you need is to go to download and then you can download the first one here. I think that is the one we need. Or maybe the dev kits. We don't really need the dev kits, but then um, we can just download this one here. It doesn't really matter whether you're with dev kits or without dev kits. All you need is one of these. So that is the current updated one here. Previous versions, this is the current versions. Previous versions are 
out from 2.5 to 3.0 so the, this is what you need and the 3.0 is what that we need so I have already downloaded this to my desktop to my computer I mean so all you have to do is to find is to find the file So this is the installer right here. So all you have to do is to install this is to install this and I have already installed it's just a simple and a quick uh, straightforward installation so you don't need to do over uh, this because I've already installed it on, on, my, on my PC. So what we go we do is go straight to getting Ruby to work for us to download the, the content on the website from the Wayback Machine. Okay, now after installing Ruby, what you have to do is to go to the search bar here and type in Ruby. The first result to give you start command prompt with Ruby. This is what you need. You just click on it. Now we need some com we need to put some commands in here. So you go back to the website where we downloaded the Wayback Machine Downloader. Now this is the this is the string you need or the command you need. So you just copy this command. Same way back machine downloader. Just copy the, this and you go back to the command prompt and then you paste this here. Now, what you have to do is to put the website which you actually want to download the content for. So, we go back to the website where all the URL. You just you just put the URL URL on the you just put the URL next to the Wayback Machine Downloader command. To that you hit enter. And what um, Ruby is going to do is to get you all the files, download all the files you need. This will take a little bit of time so i'll pause this video and when it is done i'll show you how to get the files or the content you you downloaded now if you can see it is saying getting snapshots pages found 542 five, or 540 sorry so is trying to download at least about 341 it says 24 or oh, 345 or uh, 41 so this is what ruby is doing it's downloading everything after this now after this is downloaded i'll show you where to find find the files that you downloaded so i'll pause this video for now and when it's done i'll show you okay so as you can see the download is completed and we've downloaded about 341 files now this is where the download is saved this is where you can find the website or the content we downloaded all you have to do is to go to the to my uh, my pc on windows 
or this PC on Windows and then uh, go to Drive C and then go to Users and then you find the computer's name right here and you go to Websites right here so this is the website we downloaded gifted with green you open the file and uh, this you will see all the files or the website content you downloaded everything in here so this is how you download a full content or a full website from from the Wayback Machine or the Internet Archive thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel maybe there will be something needful which I'll be teaching and you can really benefit from it thank you and you are most welcome again to my channel bye for now